okay, so I uh, ripped the magnet out of this phone's case, and it was all torn up, bent up, and the adhesives, half of it's still stuck on the back of this case, and I put it in this phone's case so that I don't have to hold my phone while I drive and make videos, make content. So, um, earnings are coming out right about now, right as we speak. PayPal, Square, Coinbase. I'm currently like running errands, so um, I'm gonna try to maybe catch the conference calls later. I'll at least catch some of the commentary, right? I've got my few uh, channels that I check in with on a daily basis, and uh, you know, if worse comes to worse, I can just pick up some secondhand analysis that way. But uh, as far as the price action went today, I mean, it was crazy, man. It was absolutely crazy. You know, we had these huge drops like in Square, which is the stock I was trading, to the short side. You know, caught a couple of quick moves. Didn't make a whole lot, but it was like, a, you know, uh, over $100 today. And uh, then I just walked away. And I'm glad I did because I was sort of short biased. And bam, Square, pop right back up. PayPal, pop right back up. Uh, SoFi, even etching out some gains, baby. Those small cap gains. And, and I really thought the small caps were, were going to do good. You know, I was hoping they would, but uh, with the rate hikes, and by the way, other central banks came out with their rate hikes today. I talked about this in my short. Um, you had the Bank of England, surprisingly, coming out with a, a 75 basis point uh, rate hike, just like the Fed. Um, and that's very aggressive. They haven't even done that yet. It's always been 50 basis points at the, the highest. And so this is, uh, you know, very aggressive for the, the Bank of England. Also, the Central Bank of Norway, the Norwegians, they must be feeling dovish or maybe their inflation isn't as bad. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but they came out surprisingly with only a 25 basis point rate hike. So, you know, it'd be nice if we could get some of these Norwegian doves over into our Central Bank, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. You know. I think there is a lot of optimism and hope that somehow uh, things are going to get better. The interest rates are going to, or at least the rate uh, of the hikes is going to slow down in December. But who, I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be holding call options for just for that specific reason. Now, um, oh my God. That being said, you had some economic news today. Um, you know, obviously we get the non-farms tomorrow, but there's a lot of jobs information out there. Uh, the private business sector came out with numbers this week. I, I'm trying to follow it all, but honestly, you can only you can only keep track of so much. Like I'm watching the the, the price action on the dollar on TLT, the bonds. I thought about maybe shorting bonds, you know, into December, right? Because uh, we're over 4% now, the UK is over 3%, and, uh, you know, we're going to 5%, 100%. We're going to 5%, 100%, and it's probably gonna happen, uh, you know, before the end of the year, right? Or at least we'll be very, very close to that before the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I've got my eyes on. And, you know, I, I'm just grateful, grateful that I'm not red this week. Uh, it's been a brutal week, brutal price action. I've just been being very careful, been very conservative with how many trades I take, what trades I put on. Um, you know, if it's choppy and I don't like it, I, I've been just getting out. And if I'm only up 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, I've been taking it. Right now, it's, I should make a short about this, but this is like the main goal is to get my cash account up as much as I possibly can every single day. It doesn't matter if it's $20 or $200 or $2,000. I just cannot have like huge red days right now. And so um, I'm taking quick profits. I'm just trying to get as much cash as I possibly can. And you know, sometimes the market is only willing to give you 
uh, 10 bucks per contract or, or even five bucks per contract, then you factor in the, the commission fees, the option trading fees. It's about a, I think it's about a dollar 10 to get in and out, maybe a dollar 20 to get in and out. So, you know, if you only make five dollars per contract, well, you got to subtract a dollar 20 per contract. So, that can be upsetting. Um, you know, especially if you're trading options where you have to spend, you know, two hundred dollars per contract to only make a few dollars on it. it, it, it can be, it can be a little difficult to deal with, but, um, you know, you just have to sort of believe in a divine purpose. You have to believe in the higher order of the markets. You have to believe in the, the higher order of the, the long-term game. And uh, that, that's definitely what I'm focused on. So I need to uh, pick up a couple of things and I will see you guys on the next video.